Good morning. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I'm out breaking in the Hatson 125 22 caliber. This is the spring piston air rifle version, capable of 33 foot pounds of energy. I did do some chronograph results last night. Um, had some major explosions at first. It was like almost, I think it was about 1375 with the Crossman Premier hollow point pellet, which is, it's uh, over 60 foot pounds of energy. The next shot dropped down to a little over a thousand feet per second. Then it kept on steadily dropping down to a consistent uh, 957 to 960 feet per second with a with a hollow point pellet and that's that's 29 foot pounds of energy there's no telling what it's going to do um if it's going to creep up in power a little more or come down it's most po possibly could come down but it was staying consistent last night i just did some shooting i'm only open sights here and it's at 15 yards and Peter said to switch this around over my shoulder so you could see the green fiber optic on the rear sight. I got more room out here. I'm out in the great outdoors. I'm uh, attempting to catch anything that will bite. But I have a... I'll let you just listen to this while I shoot a little bit. I need to make another adjustment here to the left. Hopefully that will put me closer to being on target. But I'm going to scope this here in a minute. Well, I'll just let you listen to it and check it out. I haven't adjusted the trigger or anything. It's kind of heavy. Uh, if everything is right with this rifle, I might... Um, now the breech actually is pretty nice. But the barrel... They could have done a better job at, if I can show you what I want to show you. There's a little screw there that's beside this one here. And it could have, the, the other screw could have been cranked in more and they could have drilled out the little screw better in a better spot to have that lock up. But nonetheless, I just got, probably just over slightly over three quarter of an inch five shot group at 15 yards i mean that's not super amazing or anything but not too bad i'm just gonna shoot a few times into the cardboard um, to let you hear the shot cycle yeah there's a little bit of spring twang but you know what i really don't care all i care about is that this thing is accurate so Yeah, it's got a little bit of wonk. I'll do that again, then we'll get you down on target. After that, I'll switch over to their uh, scope that they send with this package. It's not great scope, but we'll see how it does. So practicing consistently with this heavy trigger, if you're gonna keep that heavy trigger, is important because if you think that they're gonna go out and shoot small game and you're not mastered this heavy trigger you might be all over but Well, I'm impressed. I was so ticked off at this rifle last night when I opened it up and I could see that the uh, scope mount rail is a tiny bit off, but it's, it's not off enough to affect it like I thought it was. And when I look at it now, maybe it was just this metal piece that's slightly bent. 
that's no big deal when you're getting accuracy like this for 165 Donalds. It's going to vary where you shop. You got to look around. I got this through Amazonian. So all that is covered with a dime and the three out to the side right there. Um, I have, if you're around in South Dakota or never, uh, or ever looking to go to the South Dakota State Fair, you can go out there and you get one of these rulers. I'm sure they do that at most fairs. So we'll do a little measuring center to center. So it's right under five eighths of an inch. Boy, the whole shot group because of the flyers is about one inch. But this is a brand new rifle. I'm just breaking it in. I'll see if I can get this up on camera. So actually really good um, I'm pretty happy with that put that down there the open sights actually we're doing pretty decent so up here was the shot group I did off camera at 15 yards and that's pretty decent I'm sure with a lot of practice you can get even better and I'm shooting all I'm shooting is the cheap Crossman Premier hollow point pellet once I put the aftermarket uh, spring in underneath the trigger it's right back under here there's plenty of videos on that uh, actually I have one on the HW95 that I just shared to my other video update on the Hatson 125 so if you're going to use these scope mounts and all this you got to make sure they're super tight I didn't have a screwdriver for this so I had to use my shirt you know like when you open a jar so to crank it down and after I put it on at first I took a few shots and then it was loosened up right away. I think it was from getting jarred around and uh, I had to use my shirt to crank it down. I cranked it as tight as I could. Uh, it's not exactly on target but you know what it's I think it's ready for hunting and September 1st is the first of South Dakota's uh, small game season. I usually wait till we get snow when I was really gun ho in the air guns and thought that uh, there was just going to be tons of small game for me and I was just going to go out in the field and blast the bunnies like the people over in uh, England do all the time or other areas in the country where they have plenty of rabbits. I was wrong. I have to be a little more stealthy early in the morning, snow on the ground, a blizzard is best. That has them really confused. But all I got to say is I'm really happy about this. This is putting out 29 foot-pounds of energy with the Crossman Premier hollow point pellets and that's really zinging the pellets along. Um, with aftermarket trigger screws you can make this trigger even sweeter. Uh, I did adjust the trigger a little bit or one of the screws a little bit because it was out just a tiny bit and that might have helped a tiny bit but I think just practicing with this it's gonna work. Uh, yes it's not a Viroc or whatever who cares. Um, I'll shoot anything. I'll shoot a BB gun. I'll throw rocks. I'll shoot a slingshot. Uh, it really don't matter. Um, but you wouldn't mind. I just want to show you some of this. You can see I really like it now. I was really ticked off last night. It was such a bummer. But I really like this rifle now and I'm going to keep on shooting it. Hopefully I'll get out this winter and I'll plug some bunnies and maybe squirrels. Um, Need some catfish bait to fly along for me. Anyhow, give me a like and a subscribe. I'd highly appreciate all that. God bless all of you. Stay safe. Uh, don't be afraid of all the junk that's going on in the world. God is good and he's in control and they don't want to think that. So God bless you all. You have a great day.